What is up you guys? It's your boy Avery here. And we need to make a serious video. Because this story breaks my heart. And it pisses me off to unbelievable extremes. You know, I may not post videos on this channel a whole lot anymore. But this shit that I heard about today just has my blood boiling. And it pisses me off. And I wanted to make this video to get this person's story out there so that I can hopefully at least inspire one person to be inspired to help other people out, especially when they're going through a tough-ass time. Because I know what it's like to go through a tough time being diagnosed with something called von Hippelinda disease, which I guarantee you probably none of you have ever heard about. And it causes cancer cells and tumors and cysts to form in your body. So what am I talking about? In my local neighborhood where I live, it's, you know, a quiet community. It's, you know, it's the suburbs. <laughs> um, and you're going to have to excuse my blinking because I'm super tired, but i got to make this video. Um, in my neighborhood, uh, there's multiple neighborhoods in, in like this little town. Um, there's this little girl and she's nine years old and she's been fighting cancer like a champ right nine-year-old little girl with little brother and cute little dog mom and dad and she's in remission of her cancer right now but she has to constantly go to the hospital she has to go to the ER just like if she's not like breathing correctly on a regular fucking basis. She has to go to the ER like almost every other day. And so just less than a month ago, her family got her a Nintendo 3DS. I don't know if it's a 3DS or a 3DS XL. You know, it, it could literally be like mine or it's, you know, just regular, you know, whatever. They go out to eat at a local restaurant here in the neighborhood. And they had the 3DS in like one of those like little carrying cases, kind of like, um, almost kind of looks like a purse. Like if you've ever seen, maybe you even have one. Like it's like a, it's a 3DS carrying case. What it is, you put it in, you zip it up. That way you don't, you don't have to stuff this thing into, into your pocket, right? So where they sat was at like a bar table. They put it up on the windowsill and they left without it. Now you would think, that the restaurant would, you know, grab it and hold it for them, call them, you know, something. They find out when they get home. They go back to the restaurant. They call the restaurant. And it's not there. Some fucking asshole during COVID to a nine-year-old girl who has been fighting fucking cancer took her fucking DS. I have lost all faith in humanity. We live in a world where riots in the streets are going on that are apparently mostly fucking peaceful, which they fucking aren't when people are dying and their businesses are being burned down by fucking idiots. And then we have assholes who fuck over a nine-year-old girl who just wants to get away for a few minutes and play on a DS and you fucking take it? You don't call, you don't give it to the manager, you just take it. Is that really a world that we live in? In a pandemic? In a world where just everything is on fire? And you just want to see the world burn? Fuck you. And it is disgusting that you would fuck over a family like this that has been dealing with nothing but bullshit for God knows how long. I don't even know how long this girl has had cancer. I was just looking at the photos of the family on Facebook and the girl used to have like nothing but blonde hair. And then it started like receding and like she started losing her hair because of the chemotherapy and it started turning brunette. And then the mom shaved her goddamn head so that she could be just like her daughter. And then you have the fucking nerve to take her 3DS. Do you not have a life 
your life must be really fucking sad to do that to a nine-year-old girl. Fuck you, man. And it's... I, I can't even form words. So you know what? I'm going to give the big middle finger to you, and I'm going to help the family fucking out. Since it was less than a month old, you want to know what I'm going to fucking do? I'm going to make you regret that shit. Because if I ever see you, I can guarantee you I'm going to beat your fucking ass. And I'm going to love every second of it. But guess what? I'm going to take the peaceful route. I'm going to take the peaceful route. I'm not going to wish harm on you. I'm not going to wish that you get COVID. None of that shit. You know what the fuck I'm going to do, you two? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy her a 3DS XL. I'm going to go to GameStop, get her a fucking bundle that comes with four games. Any games that she had in the case that she no longer has, I'm going to fucking rebuy for her because she deserves it. It's less than a month old because she is fighting something that I could never imagine fighting. The worst that I have to deal with is three hours of MRIs every six months, and I'm healthy. I haven't had any procedures, any surgeries. The worst I had was an end endoscopy, it's hard to say, endoscopy like a year ago, and other than that, I've been healthy, I've been fine, I have a great life, but you get to sit there with a stolen DS, that what are you going to do, take to GameStop and get fucking $10 for it? Like, really? Is that really how sad your life is, that you have to go to fucking GameStop or you know, a mom and pop shop that's here in Florida to get a couple bucks for a fucking console that you probably don't even know anything about because Nintendo doesn't even support it anymore. Dude, you have the saddest fucking life in the world. And it's hilarious to me. Because now, once again, I get to get the big middle finger. And I say this because I want at least somebody that watches this goddamn video to be inspired, to know that there are good people out there. There are pieces of shit like this dude that took that fucking DS from that little girl. And then there are good people like what I try to be every day, even though I work a job I fucking hate, even though I work with a bunch of asshole people, and I'm sure a lot of you do too in your jobs. You set that shit aside, and you say, I'm going to help you out. So I'm going to go to GameStop. I'm going to spend $170 plus tax to get her a brand new 3DS bundle with four games. We're talking Pokemon Y, uh, Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 3D Land, and then I forget what the other game was. I, I think it was um, like another Mario game or something. Regardless, I'm going to help these people out because that's who I try to be each and every day. I don't have to spend that money, but you know what I did since I'm a Yu YouTuber? We're selling this, and we're selling these. That's the whole pile right here. And we're going to sell that, hopefully get around 200 bucks, maybe a little bit more, depending on how many cards that uh, the locals I'm going to takes. We're going to get over 200 bucks for that if they take everything, close to 230 bones, so that I can put that money towards helping this kid out. Because that's what makes me feel good. Not getting a big fucking paycheck. Not by getting my ass kissed by fucking management trying to make me feel good, which they don't even fucking do. They act like I don't even exist. Or, you know, listening to assholes on the internet talk about politics and all this other bullshit in the world. Who gives a fuck? I have that PS... <laughs> I have that PS5 and Series X sitting right here. Guess what? If I could help someone out in a heartbeat, I would fucking sell it. I would. Because that's who I am. Or I would buy them a Series X or a PS5. Because you don't do shit like this to a nine-year-old girl who lost her fucking hair, who probably got sick, still gets sick every day from the treatment that she went through. It's sad, man. It's sad. But we're going to make it right. Because that's what we do. We help people. We're not sellouts. Yeah. I'm going to start throwing out some names like fucking Simo, Team Samurai, all these other fools who don't give a fuck about you. Well, guess what? I care about you. Bunch of other people in the world care about you. 
Do you ever end up in that part in your mind where you feel like people don't care about you? I care about you. You're here because you are making the world a better place. Without you, the world is shit. Strive each and every day to make a difference, to be a positive person. That's all I got to say. It's disgusting. And I'm speechless. And that's why we're going to help this person. Don't give a fuck what other people say. And if you are somehow watching this video, and you're the one that stole the 3DS, I hope you feel guilty the rest of your life. And I hope your life continues to suck. Because apparently you think your life is great if you're willing to strap on a pair of dildos and go steal a fucking DS from a nine-year-old girl. <laughs> the world we live in, you guys. More than ever, we need positive people. Difference makers. People that are willing to put we before me. Let's have more of that. And not get so stuck up on why Blazing Vortex is a terrible fucking set when Yu-Gi-Oh! is dead anyway. Let's focus once in a while on helping people, instead of being negative. And to those of you that are positive, thank you, because you are making the world a better place. I apologize for the rant. I wanted to get this off my chest, and to make the point that there are shitty people and there are good people in this world, and surround yourself with the good people of this world. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.